Can we talk about it? An alleged serial killer was just caught in New York after decades long criminal spree where multiple women lost their lives due allegedly to this monster, Rex, who was an architect. I don't know if you guys seen the video or not, but they ran down on him in Midtown Manhattan and arrested him leaving his architect firm. Again, it really be the mild-mannered architects, the square guy nobody was thought of. So apparently, Rex's house is here and all the bodies was found all along the waterfront in the state park. So they had multiple different bodies. They even had one unidentified Asian man that Rex allegedly um, got rid of. And this is sick. It really do be the mild-mannered guy that you didn't think of. And the crazy part is how they caught him. They caught him due to a tip by one of these girls' pimps. The pimp seen a girl getting into a green SUV that matched the description of Rex's car and eventually led police to him. And the crazy part is he lived in the area. So when he they caught him, all his neighbors knew exactly what it was because this serial killer has been haunting this area for a long time. I don't know if you're familiar or not in Long Island, but a lot of the towns in Long Island, especially along Jones Beach and the beach area, are very secluded and very isolated. And it's one of those towns where everybody knows everybody. So as soon as they knew um, Rex was arrested, Everybody had tips and information to give up. And I always find that interesting. When you find out the serial killer lives in your area on some criminal minds stuff, everybody apparently got tips. But before that, it's, oh, he's a mild-mannered guy. He was so cool. We didn't know he was going to do this. He was a soccer dad, PTA dad. Y'all knew. He was dark. But then everybody got stories. But the story is undeveloping because they found dolls in his house. They went to his childhood house and he had like dolls inside of glass cases. And this story is getting real, real bizarre. As all stories um, with serial killers get. I'm actually, this is the first part of my um, conspiracy corpy uh, murder mysteries pieces and stuff like this. And this is happening in my own backyard. So apparently... His burial grounds all along Jones Beach and all of these areas, all of these different women lost their lives. And it's so tragic and stuff like that, that these serial killers just do this. The, the, the loss of life and the devaluation of life and these people are just the worst people. And look at him. Again, it's allegedly, it's America. You're guilty until proven innocent. But the evidence on this guy is crazy. And just that has happened in New York and stuff like that. Again, this world's getting weird, and every day we stray farther from the Lord's light. And it's going to be the first part of the series on this, because they've been finding, like, swords, um, shrunken heads, and all types of weird stuff in his childhood home. So the story is unfolding, and I'll be right here to tell it. Can we talk about it?